What's up everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. A little change of scenery here. I'm um, just getting ready to finish up my lunch and head back to the shop. I was watching uh, the Flat Rate Master this morning and he was talking about, you know, moving up or leveling up as a tech. And it got me to thinking about uh, my, myself, the situation that I'm in now that I'm at the independent shop and staying edumacated as a mechanic or aspiring technician. Uh, it's a lot harder to move up. It's a lot harder to stay educated when you work at an independent shop because you don't get sent to training like you do at the dealership. The dealership, they have designated training courses that they send you to. So really the self-education, you, you have to do yourself. It comes at a cost. Sometimes the shop will pay for it. Most times it's all self-education. You'll have to pay for it on your own and out of pocket. Uh, the courses that I started looking at, and I'm actually going to be going to one here uh, June 20th. And I think there's another one uh, coming up in August. So the one in June 20th is about transmission communication uh, issues and diagnosing the one, I believe, in August that I was just talking with Drew about this morning. Drew's auto, I'm going to put try to put a link down in the description for his channel. Uh, he goes to these courses quite a bit, but that's down in Riverside, and it has to do with a, it's a lab scope course, so I think that would be really good to go to and get into. Each course of a course is about 95 to 96 bucks, so you can really see uh, the benefit of the dealer training while you're there because it's all free. They're paying for it, uh, and I believe they told me if you miss the class that the dealer ends up having to pay like 150 bucks per class, so... This will be the first time that I'll be going to a class outside of like a snap-on course. That they It's more of a promotional uh, training course of their equipment more than anything else. It doesn't really like teach you the involved or in-depth uh, details or steps about uh, diagnosis or troubleshooting. So they're okay. Uh, they're free. So why not You know, get the extra added training with the tools that you're going to be using, especially if you own any of the snap-on diagnostic equipment. But leveling up as a tech, so you want to be, you know, go from Nemo to a shark, huh? So it's like, you know, maybe you're a, a C tech wanting to be a B tech, or maybe you're a B tech wanting to be an A tech. Uh, I would consider myself a strong B. Uh, I still have some things that I need ha help with from time to time, like, you know, timing belts, like when I set them and rotate it over, it's hard for me to still kind of judge if I'm a half a tooth or a full tooth off, or if it's perfectly lined up so I always try to get somebody to come over and take a look so that would be like one situation um, other stuff might have to do with like the alignment machine I don't really get a lot of use out of it I don't use it at all actually Shane does all that so if I was to do alignments anytime soon I'd have to be walked through that again because it's been a while I know how to set toe and adjust camera and caster with all the newer cars and older cars it's just really not my forte, so I would say a strong B for sure. Uh, not really at that A level, like uh, you know South Main Auto or Scanner Danner or anybody like that. Uh, but I would say definitely a strong B. And I was thinking of the uh, topic that Flat Rate Master had this morning about trying to move up and what you can do to improve. So. Going to courses is going to help you for sure. Again, if you're at an independent shop, you're paying for them out of pocket. Uh, if you're at a dealership, completing your training on time, uh, getting sent to those training courses, that'll help you move up too, especially if you're in the express loom. You know, they got courses that you have to complete in order to move to from a level three, or I'm sorry, from a level one or level zero to a level one, level one to level two, et cetera, et cetera. ASC testing, yeah, that's still a thing. Uh, you can't do certain things in the independent world without having certain ASC certifications. So if you wanted to be a smog tech and you wanted to learn how to uh, do smogs or troubleshoot various drivability concerns, you would need to have, um, you need to have your advanced level, uh, engine performance, engine performance, and then... God, I know I'm missing one because I'm not I'm not smog certified, but there's one more course. So you gotta have like three different ASCs in order to be certified to do smog. So you can't just jump in and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna start doing smog smog testing. So there are certain things that you still need ASCs for. 
Uh, over at the dealership, if you want to be a, a Chrysler certified master tech, you need to have um, those ASC certs in those categories in order to do, to do that. Another other ways that you can move up as a tech. So if you're a level C or a lube tech, you know entry level tech, uh, you get good with the inspections. It shows that you're proficiently inspecting the car and giving a thorough look over, which is going to provide more work. And there will come a time when they're going to have so much work based on your recommendations that they're just going to start fl funneling you in and giving you the certain jobs to do. Uh, I know that I have seen this before, and even. Uh, Mike from uh, Michael from Flat Rate Master had said it. You can get pigeonholed. Uh, there's only been maybe like one shop that I ever was at uh, where it seemed like they didn't want you to move up. They just wanted you to stay there. Um, but it's it's not like that with every single shop. So I can't say that that's you know something to be too too worried about. Some of you guys out there, you might feel like that, but what are you doing to change your current situation? Because I think one of the biggest benefactors and, or, or factors, I'm sorry, one of the biggest factors in trying to move up is you have to let somebody know what it is that you're wanting to do or trying to do. So if you want to get more into diagnosis like myself, you have to show the interest. The interest has to be there. You have to show them that you're interested. And as long as you get caught up in all of your work, so if you're a C tech or a B tech and you're doing light repairs and maintenance and you want to do some heavy line stuff, get caught up on all your stuff and then maybe they'll shoot you at that heavy line job. Or if you're you know, a heavy line tech or an R&R &R guy but you want to start getting into Diag like myself, you know, show the interest, get that stuff done and then maybe on a Friday like what's been happening for me, uh, they'll be like, okay, well here's a, here's a vehicle to check engine light. Go check it out and let me know what you think. Uh, and then you can jump on to like direct hit all data, get your parameters, pull up your wiring diagrams, start fishing around, look for TSBs, just get really involved with it. And now, now that I'm really starting to kind of get more and more involved, now I want to start going to actual training courses to better myself to be like, look, hey, not only do I have an interest, but I'm also willing to pay to go to these courses to get uh, more educated, if you will, and become smarter so that, that way I can actually get to that next level. Uh, and then, of course, you know, I'll have to take some ASC testing and stuff like that, too, if I decide that I want to be a smog tech later down the road. But at any rate, that's my two cents. I really wanted to cover this topic in a video and kind of throw in my two cents. So I'll put links down below to the Flat Rate Master Andrews Auto because without the uh, video that I watched this morning and uh, without Drew's Auto sending me uh, picture of the upcoming courses. Uh, this whole conversation might not have ever taken place between me and you guys. If you're following me on social media, you'll see that I did just recently post uh, the picture of the date, time, and what the course is for the upcoming course here in June. So if you guys are in the SoCal region and you want to go to it, go to my Instagram or Facebook page. I've posted the picture um, with the contact information and everything else. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys next time. This is...